Hey guys, DC Network here, coming at you with another video. If I say the word Cartoon Network to you, I'm sure that a wide variety of shows pops into your head. And I can almost guarantee that at least one of those series will be an action show. Just because Cartoon Network and action series back in the day go together. If you wanted to watch an action show, you were probably tuning in to Cartoon Network. Obviously, today, action shows aren't really even on the channel anymore at all, so what happened to Cartoon Network being the place to watch action cartoons to now not even having any at all? So today I wanted to look at the rise and fall of action shows on Cartoon Network. From its inception, Cartoon Network had some action shows on the channel, right? There were the Powerpuff Girls, there was Samurai Jack, there were, you know, the original Teen Titans, all the different DC superhero animated series. They were all action shows and they were all on Cartoon Network. So if you were looking for some action shows to watch, Cartoon Network was the place you wanted to go to just because of the wide variety of action shows that they had then all of a sudden in 2005 Cartoon Network came out with their own new original action series called Ben 10 and obviously you've heard me say this many times before but Ben 10 was a huge hit it was a financial juggernaut for Cartoon Network and if we look at the point at which Ben 10 came out to then the late 2000s and early 2010s there was a big shift in the network all of a sudden action shows were becoming more and more prevalent on the channel like i said before there were a good amount of action shows before ben 10 came out on cartoon network but after ben 10 came out there were so many action shows coming to the channel there was generator rex symbionic titan obviously there's four different ben 10 series the secret saturdays there's all the dc animated series like young justice green lantern the batman batman brave and the bold i can go on and on and on with all of these action shows that came to cartoon network once ben 10 came out action shows were so big on Cartoon Network that all of a sudden the other kids channels were trying to do the same thing Nickelodeon Disney they were trying to get action shows onto their channels as well because of the success that action series were having on Cartoon Network so how did it go from action shows are literally Cartoon Network's bread and butter to now today if you turn on Cartoon Network I don't think you'll see action anywhere on the channel there are no action shows at all all. So if we fast forward to the late 2000s and early 2010s, Ben 10 is on its second and third series respectively in Ultimate Alien and Alien Force. And we have a lot of other action shows happening at this point, a lot of which I mentioned before. This is when Cartoon Network, I would say, is at its peak for action shows. There were a plethora of action series on the channel with more and more coming as these new shows were getting greenlit. Then all of a sudden, we come to the year 2012 and all of a sudden the only action show that's still on Cartoon Network is pretty much Ben 10 Omniverse, the Batman which is the CGI Batman series, Young Justice, and Green Lantern. I may be forgetting a few others but those are the four that come to mind when I think of that time period. Those shows are airing on the channel and as time progresses all of a sudden these shows are starting to disappear. Ben 10 Omniverse was having this long hiatus period from the channel the dc animated series are either getting canceled at this point or coming to a conclusion like the batman was canceled very early on and then green lantern and young justice were coming to an end that the entire dc animated saturday morning block that they had that got canceled as well that was being scrapped off the channel and now the only action show left was Ben 10 Omniverse, which like I said before, was taking a long hiatus. So many people were wondering, is Ben 10 getting canceled as well? What is going on here? As we all know, in 2014, the episodes of Ben 10 Omniverse that were left over the last three seasons, I believe, the last 30 episodes, they were burnt out at a 6 a.m., 6.30 a.m. time slot on Cartoon Network. And why did this all happen? Why did action shows go from being the bread and butter of Cartoon Network to now we want to get them off the channel as quickly as possible? The reason that this happened is because there was a huge shift in higher-ups over at Cartoon Network. Stu Snyder 
Snyder was the president who was greenlitting all of these action series. He was the one bringing shows like Symbionic Titan, Secret Saturdays, Generator Rex, I could go on and on and on, but all those series from the late 2000s to the early 2010s, those are from Stu Snyder's era. All of a sudden, in 2013 or 2014, he got fired. He was no longer the president of Cartoon Network. Now we bring in the new president of Cartoon Network, who we all know was Christina Miller, and at this point is when the shift was happening over at Cartoon Network. This was the point at which action shows were beginning to disappear, and we were starting to see Cartoon Network become like Comedy Central Jr., except it's not funny. Basically, Christina Miller was taking all the action shows, throwing them out the window, and bringing in these comedies to the channel. Obviously, Teen Titans Go! is probably the face of the comedy-centric Cartoon Network, Yes, it was on during Christina Miller's era, but that was a show that was brought on by Stu Snyder. So, my point is, though, that Christina Miller's transition was the point at which action shows were disappearing from the channel. And as we saw for the entirety of Christina Miller's run as the president of Cartoon Network, action shows were pretty much nowhere to be found at all. We were seeing action shows get rebooted, like the Powerpuff Girls, like Ben 10, Thundercats, roar, but they weren't action shows anymore. You were rebooting action series as comedies, which is just not a good idea, but that's what was happening at that point. That is why we saw the fall of action shows on Cartoon Network because of the shift in higher-ups over at the channel, the shift in executives. So where do we stand today when it comes to action shows on Cartoon Network? Obviously, if you turn on the channel right now, there's not going to be an action show on because there just aren't any on the channel. But if we look to the future, are action shows going to make a triumphant return to the channel? And I would say it looks like they're coming back, but I don't think it's going to be, you know, mid 2000s, late 2000s, early 2010s level of action shows on Cartoon Network. I don't think we're going to have that wide variety of action series on the channel. Like we know, for example, Batman Cape Crusade is coming that is confirmed to be a darker action oriented series we know that unicorn wars eternal is coming we don't know if that's going to be an action series but it does seem like it's going to have some darker more action elements to it but again that is not confirmed it does seem like there are more action series coming to the channel over the next couple of years. Obviously, the elephant in the room is the sixth iteration of Ben 10, which we know absolutely nothing about. Is that going to be action-oriented as well? And are we going to see new properties come in as action-oriented properties to kind of bring back the action block on Cartoon Network like we had in the late 2000s and early 2010s? Possibly, that remains to be seen, but I do think action shows are returning to the channel. We know that they actually have this whole department now dedicated to animes and action series, so I definitely think we're going to see more action shows coming to Cartoon Network, but I don't think it's going to be to the level of the late 2000s, early 2010s, where there's so many action shows on the channel that you can't even list all of them off of the top of your head. I don't think we're going to get to that point, but I do think action shows are going to make a triumphant return to Cartoon Network. Anyway, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about all of this. Do you guys agree that Christina Miller was the reason why action shows are off of Cartoon Network for pretty much the majority of the 2010s and so far the entirety of the 2020s? Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.